Welcome to our channel Tech It Easy. Disclaimer: This video is prepared for newcomers in blast furnace process for basic training purpose. Process value and process varies from plant to plant. We have tried to present it in a simple way for beginners. Hi friends, today we will discuss about surge tank functions and its operation. Surge tank functions. The expansion tank in a blast furnace closed loop water system serves several critical functions. Temperature compensation allows for thermal expansion and contraction of the water volume as it heats up and cools down, maintaining a stable system pressure. Pressure regulation helps regulate system pressure by providing a buffer against sudden changes in pressure, preventing damage to pipes and equipment. Air removal enables the removal of air pockets and dissolved gases from the system, ensuring efficient heat transfer and reducing corrosion risks. Water level control maintains a consistent water level in the system, ensuring adequate cooling and heat transfer. System protection protects the system from overpressurization, which can lead to equipment damage or failure. Water quality management helps maintain water quality by allowing for the removal of contaminants and sediment that may accumulate in the system. The expansion tank is typically designed to accommodate the maximum expected volume expansion of the water in the system, ensuring safe and reliable operation of the blast furnace cooling system. Surge tank have following components. We will discuss one by one. To a or staves cooling pump, it supply primary or soft water at design flow and pressure. To a or staves. To a cooling required for protecting to a from burning and water ingress into the furnace. Staves cooling required for safeguard furnace refractory. Heat exchanger, heat taken out from to a or stave return water or primary circuit and given off into secondary circuit through heat exchanger without mixing primary and secondary water. Expansion or surge tank, a closed tank, volume of tank depends upon expansion capacity of recirculation water. Tank normally occupies 60 to 90 percent soft water and rest part pressurized nitrogen. Secondary pump supply industrial water at designed flow and pressure. After heat exchanger, secondary water gains heat which, in cooling tower it gives off heat and again it recirculate. Cooling tower Receives water from heat exchanger at higher temperature, cools down it and supply water at lower temperature. Note detail function and working of cooling tower will be discussed in a separate video. Slow filling in case of expansion tank low level reached, slow filling pump starts and makeup done at a lower flow rate. Fast filling. In case of expansion tank low level reached, fast filling pump starts and makeup done at a higher flow rate. Nitrogen required to maintain water level stability inside the surge tank and pump suction pressure. Level transmitter and level sensor. Continue shows the level in expansion tank and as per plan start or stop make up water filling. Suppose at 60% filling starts, at 90% filling stop, at 40% fast filling or alternate water source start, at 20% surge tank isolate. Surge tank isolation. In case of very very low level in expansion tank, Nitrogen gas may enter into circuit and affect on pump, that's why, it is a safeguard to isolate the surge tank and don't allow nitrogen into water circuit. Make up SOV, shut off valve. It opens during expansion tank water filling, 60% level, and closes after reaching expansion tank water level, 80 or 90%. Emergency or alternate makeup source SOV, used only in case of emergency, 
water level goes below low level due to heavy leakage in circuit. Tank pressure, a pressure transmitter, and or a manual pressure gauge installed in upper part of the expansion tank, which shows tank pressure. Auto vent valve if tank pressure is greater than set point, then vent valve opened automatically to maintain the tank pressure as per predefined set point. Auto PRV, pressure regulating valve, it maintains tank pressure as per set point. It opens if tank pressure is less than set point and closes if tank pressure reached the set point. Inlet nitrogen gas pressure, a pressure transmitter and or a manual pressure gauge installed in inlet nitrogen line of the expansion tank, which shows nitrogen gas pressure. Hope you understand. In case of any doubts please mention in comments.